big week for the Democrats here in D.C. Could you tell us a little bit about what some of the priorities might be for Democrats on tech policy now that you have control of the House again? Sure. Well, it's an honor to be on the panel. Uh, I'm uh, surprised you start with the politician as opposed to the technologist, but I'm happy to uh, answer uh, the question. I think there are three things we need to do. One, we need to uh, make sure every person in the nation has access to the Internet. There's still so many Americans who don't have access to high-speed Internet. China has almost 54 percent fiber high-speed Internet. We have about 3 percent fiber. Uh, for about $80 billion, you could hook up most of America to, to high-speed Internet. Uh, second, uh, I think there's going to be, again, uh, issues around net neutrality and uh, getting back to Tom Wheeler's uh, order uh, and not Ajit Pai's reversal on net neutrality. Uh, third, there's going to be a discussion on privacy to make sure that I had proposed an Internet Bill of Rights, but to make sure that people's uh, data is protected online uh, and that they have uh, opportunities uh, to express themselves and equal access online. And finally, uh, I would say uh, there will be a focus on uh, the new types of jobs that are going to take place. I mean, I know this panel is partly about artificial intelligence. It's going to create extraordinary opportunities. When you think about automatic landing systems in planes, I'm very glad we have them. It's led to a lot less crashes, but it's changed the nature of work. And we need to think about uh, what, is the, what are the new opportunities that are going to come about and how do we prepare people for a digital age. And so on that point of the new opportunities that might come up, I want to turn it over to some of our representatives from the industry. Um, and so, Jung Sung, maybe could you talk to us a little bit about what's happening with quantum computing in Washington right now and what conversations are looking like with lawmakers on that issue? Absolutely. Uh, so quantum computing is a very nascent, nascent industry you know, in the sense that it was very much uh, embedded in the R&D community for the last couple of decades. And only in the last uh, maybe three or four years, people have started to uh, convince themselves that we may be able to build a machine that will be able to help uh, solve some of the very difficult problems, uh, mathematical and scientific problems we face today. Um, and the uh, growth uh, and fruition of this industry really depends on uh, the, the attraction and training of talent um, that continues to fuel uh, the progress. It is a, still remains a very challenging problem, although it's an extremely promising uh, industry. Uh, so how do we work together between the industry that's uh, just budding uh, with uh, academic institutions, national laboratories? Um, how do we all work together to create a positive uh, environment to attract and continue to uh, fuel this industry? I think that will be a, the biggest challenge and opportunity. At the same time. And so I'm just curious on your, from your perspective, there's a lot of criticism in Silicon Valley about the level of um, understanding of technology issues in Congress and um, in other regulatory agencies. How, um, how much effort do you see lawmakers making to understand quantum computing right now? Oh, um, you know, I think quantum computing is a very tricky um, technological base. I mean, it only took me about 15 years to really appreciate what it can, what it does. <laughs> um, but at the same time, you know, when we when we program and use computers uh, today, we don't have to understand how the semiconductor electrons in, in transistors uh, operate. It, we have to understand its implications, opportunities, and then how do we actually make sure that we have the talent and, and the industry support to, to get it going. Uh, so in that sense, I think the, uh, there has been a, a tremendous amount of reception from, from the Hill and also from the administration, past and, per, and current, uh, to recognize the importance and potential of the industry to make an effort to, uh, to support.